Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another round of home workouts. Today, we're going to focus on balancing and a little bit of like in place cardio, just because, you know, we quarantine. So, uh, you know, roll with me. Balancing exercises. So, we're just going to balance on one foot, okay? Raise your knee up as high as you can get it. And then if it starts to sag, recognize that and pull it back up. So we'll go for we'll go for 10 seconds each. Here we go. Starting off with this leg here. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, we're going to do that same idea of balancing, only we're going to close our eyes this time. So, ready, starting with this leg here. Ready, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, if you can't hold it for that ten seconds, that's fine. Just try to maintain your balance with your eyes closed. If you cannot do it with your eyes closed, then just hold your eyes closed for a little bit and then open them. Um, what happens when you close your eyes is you don't have any more sensory information coming in, so you can't see, so your, your equilibrium kind of gets messed up and you start to tip one way or the other. So, other leg, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna we're gonna jump on one leg, and we're gonna go in a circle. Uh, we'll go in one full circle, one direction, and come back, and then we'll do the other leg, one direction, and then come back. So ready? Just it's gonna look like this here. Okay. All right, we'll do that with both legs, starting with this leg here. Ready? Go. Good. Other leg, switch. Excellent work. Okay. Now we're going to balance here. We're going to lift a leg out to the side and we're going to hold that up. You know, lift it up as high as you can. Martial artists do this and they, they're able to, you know, if I was a martial artist, I should be able to kick the ceiling. But I'm not a martial artist. So here we go. Um, we lean back and we'll balance on this foot. Ready? Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you can't go that high, right, go this high or go that high. Go as high as your body will allow you to go while being safe and maintaining your balance. Other leg. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, we think I gotta stretch more or something. That was hard. Now we're gonna now we're gonna balance this way here. Okay, we'll do that one leg and then we'll switch and we'll go the other leg. Here it goes. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten. Take a breath. Switch legs. Ready? Lean forward. Balance. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Balance is very important. We want to keep from having to fall, right? When you get older, a lot of people fall over and that's because their balance isn't the best and balance you know with balance like so when you stand up your muscles have to stabilize your skeleton to keep you in an upright position I mean what happens when you fall when you don't have balance is you're more susceptible to falling over if you're susceptible to falling over you hit the ground you can break your wrist you can break your fingers if you're older and have osteoporosis you can break your hips okay these are just things that we want to try to avoid um, all by doing simple balance exercises every single day. 
So now we're gonna do what's known as single leg squats. So there's extreme single leg squats where people go down and back up, okay? And that's really tough to do. So what we're gonna do is a modified one and we're gonna go, you know, low as we can go while still fairly comfortable. So we'll do five each leg. And if you don't wanna stick your leg out, bend your leg back and squat like that there. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good squat, switch legs. Now I'm going with my right leg. Ready, go. One, two, three. Ooh, that one hurts. Four, good. Five. Okay, now we're gonna get into some uh, some smaller cardio, like some close range cardio. You know, when you think of cardio, you usually think of people running miles or running sprints in an open field. But if you don't have access to go to an open field, or if you don't, if it's too cold outside or something then you can do this in the comfort of your own living room or your room or your basement, or whatever inside space you have, then you can use this as your workout. And this also doubles as a, length, a leg strengthening workout and a core strengthening workout. So it's, uh, it's what I call squat jumps. So with squat jumps, okay, you squat down and you hop back up. So you go right here. All right, you just get used to popping up and down, up and down, up and down. And if you want to, you can touch a hand on the ground, okay, as a way to like mark your distance going down. Um, but you know, and then if you have knee trouble, then go as low as you can without hurting yourself. That's always, that's one thing to always understand. You do not want to injure yourself when you're, when you're training to get in shape because then you'll only set that, you only set things back if you have fitness goals. So never get hurt when you're training. Always listen to your body. If your body's saying, no, we don't bend that low, then, then go right above that. All right, so we're gonna do three sets of 30 squat jumps. Here we go. Set number one, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <sighs> That's set number one. Here we go. Set number two coming up. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Five, four, three, two, one. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 20, 30. That's 60 squat jumps, y'all. That's decent. I just decided to wear my ankle and knee braces that I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, I don't know. I mostly like them as accessories, but they do serve a purpose. I've played football. I've trained since I was 10 years old. And, you know, when you train, what happens is your body can slowly start to, you know, experience wear and tear due to either training wrong, not giving yourself enough time to rest or not stretching. So, you know, you got to support your joints when you get older. All right, set number three, beginning in 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
29, 30. Feel your heart rate. That's good cardio. That'll get you to 120 beats per minute, I guarantee it. Okay. So, all right. I just wanted to keep it short and sweet. Do a little bit of cardio, a little bit of balance. Um, I thought today's workout was, so it was short, but it was effective. You get what I mean? So if you feel like you need more work, repeat the workout. Choose one of my other workouts on my video or do your own thing. All right. Appreciate y'all stopping by and working out with me. Peace.